Good day to all of you engineers, and again, welcome back to Waltz, and I'm engineer Melvin Arceo, and uh, today we're going to talk about satellite communications. Now, here is the problem. Find the orbital period of a satellite in a circular orbit 800 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. Pinapahanap sa atin dito kung gaano katagal ang isang satellite ay mag orbit sa Earth na yung satellite na yun ay 800 kilometers ang, ang height above the Earth's surface. Okay? So, nag ako ng konting uh, illustration dito. And this is the Earth. Halata naman, kulay blue. Alright? And then, we have the orbital period. Yung orbital period natin. Ganyan ang itsura. Okay? And of course, isa sa mga consideration natin ay radius of the Earth. Okay, and ito naman yung height ng uh, satellite from the surface of the Earth, which is 800 kilometers. Okay, and this is from here, from the surface up to this point, yun yung height ng satellite. While from this point up to this point, this will be the, uh, the radius of the Earth, which is approximately 6,400 kilometers. Now, how are we going to solve for the orbital period? Yan yung tinatanong sa atin, hindi ba? Madali lang naman yan. Eh. Period talks about time and time is distance over the velocity. Okay? Yung distance natin, that is uh, equal to the circumference. Ito yun, na? Kasi, ito itatravel niya na distance eh. Yan. So, magta-travel siya going this direction, for example, na? up to this point, to that same point, kung saan siya nang galing. And yung distance na yan is actually the circumference of the travel. So, that will be 2 pi r. Tama? Okay. Yung r dyan ay yung radius. Pero ano yung radius natin yan? That will be 2 pi times 6,400 kilometers plus the 800 kilometers height. So, itong buong ito, yung ating R. Okay? So, this will be 800 plus 6,400. And take note, this should be in, of course, kilometers. Alright? And kilometers dapat ang unit niyan. No? So, makukuha natin yung distance as calculated. That will be 45,238. Okay? 0.93. And that is in kilometers. So, okay na yung distance natin. Check natin yan. Check. Okay. How about yung velocity? Bay natin yung kulay para masaya. Ayan. How about the velocity? How do we solve for the velocity of the satellite orbiting uh, the Earth? That will be square root of 4 times 10 to the 11. Okay. Over yung height. Okay. Plus 6,400. Okay. And ang unit ito will be meters per second. Uh, so, this will be equal to square root of 4 times 10 to the 11 over the height of 800 without the unit plus 6,400. So, makukuha natin yung velocity. The velocity will be equal to, that's approximately 7,453. 0.56 meters per second, of course, as calculated. Okay? So, kompleto na tayo. We have the distance and we have the velocity. Then, we can now solve for the time. So, time, uh, substitute lang natin for 45,238.93 times 10 to the 3. Tama? Kasi kilometer siya. So, times 10 to the 3 meters all over uh, 7,453.56 meter, meters per second. Of course, mga cancel natin yung meters, we will be having a unit of seconds 
and we have to convert it. Kailangan natin i-convert yan into hours. At pagka kinonvert natin into hours, ang makuha nating sagot will be, that would be letter, letter A, 1.69 hours. Okay? One hour is, by the way, uh, one hour is equal to 3,600 seconds. Okay? So, kung ano, yung, kung ano man yung makuha nyo rito na time in seconds, uh, convert mo lang into hour. Kasi yung nasa choices natin ay in hours. So, the answer will be letter A. So, medyo mahaba ng konti for this uh, problem, but uh, I think it's worth it. Uh, so, thank you for viewing and uh, I hope this will help you pass the board exams. Thank you very much. Thank you.